is going to be a DIY video and I'm going to be revamping these lamps. Well, they're already done, but I'm going to show you the process that I went through and hopefully with this series of videos I can pass on some cheap homeware ideas that look wicked and are customizable. Um, also my room tour is going to be coming soon and you're going to be pretty shocked about how little I've spent on making this what it is. Also, before I get into the video, I know I'm going to get heaps of questions. These cushions back here are from an Etsy store called Killing Me Softly and aren't they just so freaking adorable? But I'm digressing, let's just get straight into the video. To begin, I separate the lamps into their two main components, the shade and the base. I then take a fabric dye and dye the shade part. I forgot to film this process, but I used a spray fabric dye. It was the first time I'd ever used a spray form dye, but I'm quite impressed with the product performance. To paint the base part, I take a gold spray paint and I spray an even coat over the entire base part. Depending on the finish, the brand of the paint, and the overall desired appearance you want, you may require more than one coat. Finally, I apply the trimming. This step was the most time consuming, but it really adds the finishing touches to the lamps. I used some upholstery trimming that I found on sale at a craft store, and I applied this with super glue. I highly recommend that you buy a quick drying glue that is compatible with fabric and also is able to be heated without risking the integrity of the glue's holding power. This whole project took me about two days as I wanted everything to dry for at least 24 hours before I brought them inside. I'm very happy with the finished product, but I know that cost is a significant factor in any craft or DIY project. So let's break down the cost of everything. And this is all in Australian dollar value. I bought the lamps from the thrift store with their Australian electrical pass stickers. So they were both in perfect working order for $10 for the pair. I then bought the fabric dye for $9.90 and used about half of the bottle, so the adjusted cost for the project is $4.95. The fabric trimming cost me $3.90 per meter and I bought 2.5 meters, so the total cost was $9.75. The gold spray paint bottle was $2.80 and I used less than half of the bottle, so I adjusted the cost for this project to $1.40. The subtotal of all the items used for this DIY was $32.45, but because I have leftovers of the paint and the dye, the adjusted cost is $26.10. And $26.10 is very cost effective, and I got customized items that fit perfectly with my decor theme. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY video. Um, I know I forgot to film particular parts, I'm really sorry for that, but I hope you get the general idea about um, how I did this step by step. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to hear every single video. 
Like this video if you liked the DIY and you want some more. Comment down below if there's something you'd like to see on this channel. Also, if you've got any other ideas for DIYs that you would like to see or you want to challenge me to do, then put them in the comments box down below and hope you all have a fantabulous day.